Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Pase Pollard here. We are now in this uh, first game for this October 20 um, NBA edition. We only got we only got two games today as compared to uh, yesterday, where in there was like 12. Man, that was a tiring uh, that was a tiring one. Um, let's uh, kick things off by talking about Philadelphia 76ers going up against uh, the 2021 World Champions. Um, talking about Milwaukee Bucks. Whenever these two teams uh, meet, they, it's always a war. And it's always an interesting battle to see. By the way, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passe Baller, uh, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. Uh, that way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever uh, new videos and predictions are uploaded. All right. Again, this will happen 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 7.30 a.m. here in Manila. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks, this will be their uh, first game of the season. Um, and uh, one of the key points for this particular match is the absence of Chris Middleton. Um, Chris Middleton's knee is actually cleared, but he's got some issues uh, regarding his uh, wrist. So he's actually uh, sitting, si sitting this one down. And according to the, according to the news that I've read, um, he, would actually be, uh, he would be out and he would be unavailable for quite some time. Um, not only Middleton, um, Ingles, um, and... Uh, uh, Pat Connaughton won't be available as well. So three players are out for Milwaukee. Um, compared to Philadelphia 76ers, they are healthy. Um, everyone is actually available. But then again, uh, one must be wondering if uh, it would really uh, hurt. Of course it don't hurt. I mean, come on. That's Chris Middleton, man. That's one of the stars. That's, that's a, well, one of the big three that Milwaukee has. But well, it was just like last season when uh, Milwaukee was even up three to two against Boston Celtics when Middleton was actually not available, right? Um, they were actually just one game, one game from making it to the NBA Finals without Middleton. So what I'm trying to suggest here is that uh, Milwaukee Bucks, you know, they're actually that good. You know, they got Drew Holiday. Of course, they got uh, the MVP, Yanis. Um, so th they can actually f try to figure things out. It's just that eventually um, the game six was snatched uh, again. Uh, away from them by Boston Celtics and eventually the series and the Eastern Conference. Um, the, the spread given for this game is minus four, of course, towards the home team, Philadelphia 76ers. Everything is actually suggesting um, and pointing towards uh, uh, the side of Philadelphia, and that's perfectly understandable. Uh, they already have um, a game under their belt, so it's still it's not like Milwaukee Bucks uh, don't have experience, but it's, it's still an advantage for any team uh, to go up against a team who hasn't played yet in the season. You know what I'm saying? I so said that's one thing. Another is that, again, Philadelphia is playing at home. And, and again, Philadelphia is the healthier team. I don't know, but uh, I know a lot of people would disagree. Uh, but I'm still picking Milwaukee Bucks on this. Um, with the plus, I'm taking the plus to be a bit more conservative and to be a bit safer. Um, Mianis, along, along with Drew Holiday, uh, should be able to um, lead the offense uh, enough to at least make it close against Phil against this Philadelphia team, especially James Harden actually did well that first game. He had like 35 points, right? Um, and uh, Milwaukee has enough uh, backup, backup gangsters, if you know what I'm saying. He got, he got Brooke Lopez, um, he got Matthews for the, the rebounding and the defense. Uh, the defense categories um yeah on this one i think it'll be milwaukee bucks covering the spread of plus four um even i'm even like intrigued and i'm even like tempted to go uh, all in uh in uh, outright but again i want to be conservative and i want to be safer that's why on this particular game i'm picking milwaukee bucks with the plus four on it again i suggest milwaukee plus four peace out pass love and god bless